Welcome to this Knowledge Smart support video about editing a Knowledge Smart module. So, Knowledge Smart administrators have full editorial rights to make changes to Knowledge Smart off the shelf modules. We have built an intuitive three step edit process. The very first step is to take a copy of the original off the shelf test and this would of course place that test inside the draft content area which would make it editable. The test copy will be displayed in the library under draft content and draft tests. When building a Knowledge Smart test, we usually group questions by theme into modules. These can be deployed individually in a short test quiz, or they can be linked together in a daisy chain to create a longer skills assessment. When you create a copy of a Knowledge Smart test, you will find the editable library of associated modules in the library under Draft Content and Draft Modules. Modules are listed by ID number and you can reverse the list by clicking the ID number or the module name. Use the page number here at the bottom of the screen to move through the library. Use the search functionality at the top here to quickly search for a specific module. Search fields include module name, module ID or category tag. It might be useful for you to work with grouping. Click Show Groups at the top here and create a new group. My Module Group. Click Create and then you will see that your group will be available from the drop down menu on the left hand side. Next, you will go and select the modules that you want to add to your group come to the right here, Add to Group and select My Module Group and click Add to then add those selected modules to the new group that you have created. Hover your mouse over the Edit Module button here and note the small pop-up menu that is displayed. The menu allows you to skip straight to the re relevant step of the edit process depending on the change that you want to make. Let's go to edit step 1. Step 1 allows you to make changes to the module name and module description. Edit step 2. Here you can assign questions from your library to be grouped together according to the topic. Use the search questions box to locate questions using the assigned category tags. Use the green plus icon shown here to then add additional questions to that module. You can remove questions by selecting the delete icon on the right hand side. Use the green arrows as shown now to then reorder the questions within that specific module. Once you're happy with the questions assigned, you can move on to edit step 3. This is where you assign your meta tags or keywords to each module. Category tags are used to help you search and group modules in your library. So it might be useful to add a few additional category tags of things that you would typically use when searching for content. When you click finish, you can view a complete summary of all the key elements for each module by clicking on the module name in the draft modules page. This displays a pop-up summary box that we can refer to as the module footprint. The Knowledge Smart system is very flexible. Administrators can easily move questions around between modules and move modules around between tests.
Create co copies of modules by selecting the copy module icon shown here. Click the download question files icon to download all the data sets and image files associated with a specific module. Click the next icon download coaching files to download all the coaching material associated with a specific module. Please note that not all authors provide their coaching notes as downloads. Some display as plain text notes assigned to each question. These can then be viewed in the master question CSV export on a per module basis. Use the publish module icon to publish your module. This will create a locked copy of the module in the published content and published module page. It might be helpful to refer to the published content video for more information about published module. Click the export questions to CSV icon to download a master sheet containing all the questions associated with a specific module. To delete a specific module, select the module and click the delete button shown here. Our next support video covers editing a KnowledgeSmart question.